Hello everyone, welcome to today's Team Clubs panel. I'm S. Sanjay from CSE department, here to host and moderate today's discussion. Well, we have a tremendous panel and I appreciate you all being here. So without wasting any further ado, let's get right into it. The goal of the next 30 minutes is to discuss on how and why engines with internal combustion should be replaced with electric motors, especially in India. So here's how the discussion goes. I would say a few things just to kick it off, just to cheer up some ideas and then I'm going to throw this to the panel. I have two things to uh, convey. Uh, these are the major reasons as to why today's discussion is up to talk. First, it is about the day-to-day -day increase in the pollution. And uh, yes, uh, it is a fact that pollution is an incurable disease, but I believe that it can be prevented. How? We have the panel right here to discuss. And then uh, the second thing uh, is to do about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yes, continuous energy extraction from these fuels will one day result in extinction of such fuels. And uh, no energy can be taken further from such resources. So it is important that the sooner we go for alternative energy resources and uh, recognize that fossil fuels are uh, less secure as a nation and far more uh, dangerous as a planet, the better off we will be. So with these two things out here, I would like to give this to the panel. As I mentioned before, we have a really great distinguishing panel of budding engineers and I would like to introduce them to you. We have Nirmal and Pavitra from EC department, Jay from mechanical department and we also have Rebecca and Varshini from CSE department. So to start off with, uh, we'll get familiarized with what IC engines and electric motors are. So Varshini, go ahead. Okay, first we all can know about what is an engine. An engine is a device used to convert one form of energy into another to move the vehicle. There are many types of engines. Some of them are petrol engines, diesel engines, gas engines, etc. But our today's discussion goes to internal combustion engine versus electric motors. First, we can know about internal combustion engine. It is quite obvious from the name that inter combustion takes place in the engine internally for which we are using for our day-to-day -day life. It is a heat engine which uses energy by the burning of uh, diesel, petrol or other fuels. Next, we can move on to electric motors. Electric motors. It is obvious from the name that an engine uses electricity to move the vehicles. So tell me Vashini, so what do you prefer for the environment? I prefer electric motors rather than uh, internal combustion engine because of the scarcity and pollution of the environment. Okay, that's a valid point. Uh, thank you, Vashini. So, Rebecca, can you brief us the prevailing situation of India? Yes, uh, to be clear about the current situation of internal combustion is that Consumers for internal combustion is more when compared to the electric motors since 1980s. Usage of internal combustion it increases with increase in population. So first of all, let me tell you about internal combustion. Internal combustion is nothing but it's an heat energy, uh, heat energy in heat energy where the combustion of fuel burns within an oxidizer. So burning of fuel is used to produce an energy. So the uh, internal combustion includes petrol and diesel in, uh, energy. The most common internal combustion is that piston type gasoline engine. Okay. Okay, I would like to ask you a question. Can you specify my reason or suggest me why people prefer IC engines? The reason why people prefer internal combustion is that uh, the transportation cost is less when compared to the other uh, electric thing and uh, the fuel station is available everywhere and it has a heavy load pulling capability and high density. So to know about internal combustion you should first know about the spark engine, spark ignition. Spark ignition, uh, it has low density when compared to the uh, uh, internal combustion because it has high density and spark ignition varies from 6 to 10 and 95 percentage are internal combustion. The engine size of the cars and the vehicles is 1001 to 1600 cubic centimeter with the total number of 26.81 in 2010 whereas in 2015 it is around uh, uh, 40.31 million units. Yes. So, what's your opinion about the disadvantage of ice engines? The disadvantage of ice engine is that it causes pollution. Okay. Then the petrol and diesel rate are like skyrocket because the rate yeah. increases. So, yeah. these are the disadvantage of internal combustion. Okay. Is there any other way to minimize the pollution? 
is uh, India has introduced Bharat State Stick to minimize the pollution because Bharat State Sticks uh, it provides 98% of efficiency and 85% less pollution when compared to the Bharat State Four. Okay, so uh, these are uh, ex other than uh, electric motors, right? Yeah. So uh, these are called uh, safety strategies, right? Yes. Okay, fine. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, I heard a thing that uh, government of India is establishing bans on various projects. So, what is your opinion about that? Yeah, it's a great job done by India. Uh, first of all, you have to know that the problem statement. The problem statement is that a fuel. Hmm. Uh, you know that uh, India is consuming 3.6 barrels per day, million barrels per okay. day, liters. So. Um, within 54 years, all the fuels available in the earth will be gone away. Yeah. So you have to overcome this problem. So the idea of switching from uh, diesel, diesel, petrol, combustion, natural gas engines to mm. electric cars, electric motors, yeah. which will be operated via batteries. And uh, one thing you have to know that uh, one diesel engine consumes uh, 24 pollution caused by. 24 petrol engines and uh, okay. one diesel engine has a pollution of uh, 40 CNG gas engines. So diesel is going to be very really high. high. In Delhi, they have uh, planned to burn the diesel engines, but uh, nowadays it's going to be completely exempt. Mm. 2017, uh, India has been announced. India has announced that the burn, but uh, it will be commencing on uh, 2030. Okay. So, so yeah, we heard a lot about uh, electric motors, right? So every coin has two faces, right? So why can't we flip the coin? Uh, I mean, I would like to know some disadvantages of electric motors also. Yeah, uh, we have to know that uh, for our invention, every invention has an equal uh, impacts. Impacts means yeah. merits and demerits. That's correct. Okay, for uh, the impacts uh, of your engines and uh, electric cars, that will be going to be the same, but uh, that will be uh, that's in different domains. So impact. Uh, the disadvantages of electric motors is that the battery. We have to link battery with that because uh, disadvantages of motor is uh, equally correlated with batteries. Mm. Uh, if any accident occurs, uh, any vigorous uh, accident occurs in a city, then uh, the batteries will be going to be damaged and will be ex explode. Okay. The explosion is uh, equally sometimes uh, greater than the explosion of the petrol or uh, diesel engine. Okay, so you say so we have to overcome this problem. Yeah, that's correct. We can decrease it. Okay, fine. So can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's the current situation of electric motors? Electric motors. We have to know about uh, electric motors first. Uh, first, we have to gain knowledge. Uh, but uh, in world, uh, there is a company called Tesla, which is operated by Elon Musk. Uh, uh, he he has introduced the electric cars. Uh, there is a model called uh, Model 3 model S. Uh, the advantages of a uh, Model 3 is that uh, it charges an uh, electric car in uh, 1 hour 48 minutes and lasts for 500 kilometers. That's uh, today's trend of uh, electric motors. That's very good to know actually. So thank you Namar. And uh, one thing you have to note that uh, uh, Tesla is going to launch uh, its electric cars uh, in 2019 November. It is going to get oh. stuff for India. So yeah, that's a good news actually. Yeah. So now uh, I have a question for you, Jay. Is it possible to replace IC engines by electric motors in India? Yeah, it is possible to replace IC engines by electrical motors in India. As per we discussed earlier, the impacts and the advantages and whatever disadvantages is there. Actually, main reasons have you mentioned yet uh, earlier that it's due mm, to mm. scarcity of fossil fuels yeah. and keep on increasing pollutions. I would like to mention you or add up to my content that a uh, policy institute of University Chicago has estimated or it has been studying, researched that the pollution caused by the pollutants from the internal combustion engines, especially particular matter, mm. it has been keep on increasing the pollution which reduces the average life expectancy in India and China by 4.3 years and 2.9 years. So according to this report, the air quality index uh, worldwide has established a report that the whole worldwide life expectancy will be 1.8 years reduced. In many of the countries, especially like Europe and USA, mm. recently they have banned some of the coal power generator projects due to keep on this increasing That's pollution. Correct, yeah. So, uh, 1.8 years is a huge period of time. 
Okay, tell me, Jai, is there any study taken regarding this? Government last year it announced that it will be completely banning the IC engines and replacing it by electric motors. Many states, especially I can mention you as Bangalore in Canada states, Bangalore has started it, implementing. Actually, a total of 6,200 registered vehicles are there of electric motors. You can check it out with that. Means you can have seven, from 70 to lakh of cars. The 6,200 electric motors is like a big deal for the current situation now. And they are also implementing uh, charge stations. Like you have mentioned that there will be no charging stations. So they are also implementing that. By this year, they will be implementing 60 super fast charging stations. So as per, and you can it available with 4 km from any point of the cities. You can have it used for just 4 rupees per unit charging it from it and many states they have been also starting like in Jaipur, Rajasthan they are also implementing transportations regarding this content and you can mention anything like e-motors, e-cars also have been starting up. Is it necessary to buy a new car or we can replace IC engines by electric motors? Uh, actually as per the current situation of India due to the economic many can't afford buying new cars which will be now being in the market so, yeah but you can do it we can replace it by with electric motors your complete ice engine car can be replaced by electric motor which is which has been run uh, are there any working models like uh, uh, people are working in that right so is there any working models uh, so yeah. far yeah it been there like uh, I can mention you some one person's name his name is Satya he's from Hyderabad based startup e okay. you can check it out in Google right or oh, you have it because uh, he has been completely changed his IC engine car into an electrical powered vehicle. Like for example, I can say the mention you the car names. It's Alto and Wagner. He has completely changed with the electric contents. It's like microcontroller and electric. It R E K. It's the name of the components. Some of the components he has mentioned. That's great. So yeah. So Pavitra, will it be possible to bring an innovation to implementation in India? Yes, as we all discussed about the technology and innovations done all around mm. uh, India, we have an EM manufacturer that is Mahindra E20. Uh, it runs uh, 120 km per mm. uh, full charge and it, uh, it has a lifespan of 8 years. Uh, do you know that uh, in industries they have uh, R&D departments? Mm. In that R&D departments, those professionals were set free. Okay. Uh, those professionals were set free. They were. Um, they don't have any stress mm. uh, because any innovations or ideas will take some time. Yeah. They need some time uh, and they need some space to think. Mm. Like that, in that way, our engineering students must also need some space yeah, to correct. think because thinking gives knowledge, knowledge gives creativity. So we must work on these project, projects. Yeah, that's correct. Creativity is the mother of invention. Yes. So, is it important that we should uh, transform it fully to electric motors? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, in India, uh, 20 of 100 uses cars, and in other countries, uh, 180 of 100 uses cars. Uh, but countries like India, it is easy for us to uh, convert from IC to EC. Uh, but as Rebecca said, there were many fuel stations for petrol and diesel. But in future, we are going to get uh, tremendously. In, uh, in need of those fuels. Those fuel stations were completely drained uh, because as uh, as we heard that Arabian nations were already in their fuel stations were drained. So we, uh, our government should make an initiate to overcome this problem. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, we have a manpower, then we have a skill. But uh, only way we are uh, fearing for our failure and our Indian don't take uh, much risk. Mm because of the manufacturing project products yeah. so we have to overcome these things yeah. and we have to work on this correct so can I ask you a question yes uh, but electricity is generated from coal even uh, it is a fossil fuel right so that will um, extent I think uh, it, uh, the solution is only the en energy production yeah. we must know to obtain energy from various sources like wind, sun, ocean etc you guys know that uh, Tesla is having its uh, own solar city company to provide uh, a charge for for the Tesla cars. Oh, that's great. That? So, uh, and then we also heard that uh, India is working on uh, implement uh, implanting uh, super star charge stations so that even even Bangalore. Even in Bangalore, it starts. Ather Energy, a startup project, they have implemented 60 super 
translations and by this year they will be implementing 30 moves mm. so uh, yeah there will be a lot of chances in which uh, we can uh, bring electric motors in existence so as the course of today's discussion I am clear about one thing India is a developing country and uh, India is potentially a powerful country to bring an era of electric transportation I assure you that India will bring the electric motors in existence and will contribute its part to the world's peace. Thank you.